Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Tuesday, November 25th, 2014, and let's get to it. After taking a little well-deserved time off to vacation and see the sights in Paris, France, John De La Rosa is back in the gym and ready to roll full speed ahead into his off-season. After a successful competition season that saw him play second at the Orlando Europa Pro and third at the Toronto Super Show, New York Pro and Arnold Brazil, De La Rosa reconnected with RX Muscles master technician Chris Aceto for the 2015 contest season. If De La Rosa can add a little more mass and bring the level of conditioning that fans and judges have been waiting to see from him, 2015 will more than likely result in his first win of his career. Stay tuned. On Win was spotted in the gym training his massive arms over the weekend. The 2011 NPC USA champion had the best season of his young career in 2014, including three consecutive top five finishes at the Dallas, Golden State, and Tampa Pro. Most recently, Wynn announced he's joined up with Don Long for the upcoming 2015 contest season and that he plans to pack on more size and bring up a few key areas. Be on the lookout for a new and improved Wynn to take the stage next year. The GPA World Powerlifting Championships were held this past weekend and there was a familiar face to bodybuilding fans on the main lifting platform. IFBB 212 Pro Amit Sapir added a new title to his resume, world record holder in the squat at 198 pounds. Sapir completely destroyed the previous record of 697 twice, first by hitting a 706, then later completing an incredible 721 pound squat. Congratulations to Sapir for a truly incredible accomplishment. Although she's no longer holder of the title Miss Physique Olympia, that doesn't appear to be stopping Dana Lynn Bailey from training like a champion. The bodybuilding world's most polarizing superstar released a video recently training arms in her wildly popular Warhouse Gym. In the video, we see DLB blasting away on her biceps as she tries to earn back her title one excruciating rep at a time. Be sure to stay tuned to Muscle in the Morning for more updates on all the action in the wild world of Dana Lynn Bailey. One big tight one. Ah! Ow! How's that feel good? Where's my light? Where's your light at? Eric Ramirez has released some new photos giving fans a sneak peek at some of the amazing shots from his latest photo shoot. Ramirez won his IFBB Pro card earlier in the year at the North American Championships and he possesses all the tools to make the transition from good amateur to impact pro. The hardworking New Jersey bodybuilder has the hardcore East Coast mentality to go far in the iron sport. Stay tuned for future Eric Ramirez updates only on Muscle in the Morning. And finally, men's physique competitors always get a bad rap for having no legs. And in their defense, the division really doesn't require it. But Logan Franklin, the latest NPC Nationals men's physique overall champion, dispelled that stigma this past weekend. When during his interview with me, he pulled his trusty board shorts down and showed off a meaty quadricep that even four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler, would be proud of. Check it out. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. And for full quotes and Muscle in the Morning bonus features, join Muscle in the Morning's official Facebook page. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Uh -huh.